Tumultuous times in San Francisco-based Twitter as layoffs continue. Many employees learning their fate via email. It's kind of a roulette, right? Oh my gosh, I'm working on my email. My email is still there. I guess I'm still there. Uh, it must be terrifying for, for Twitter employees. From KTVU Fox 2 News, this is The Four. Yeah, you can bet it's an unsettling situation here on Market Street. We're learning more this afternoon about those mass layoffs at Twitter and the response from Elon Musk as advertisers pull out of deals with the social media platform. Welcome everyone to The Four on this Friday afternoon. I'm Heather Holmes. And I'm Christina Rendon. Well, even before Elon Musk, Twitter employees were already looking at possible layoffs, but not on the scale new owner Elon Musk had envisioned. And KTV's Tom Vakar joins us now live from the newsroom with the latest in this fast-changing story. Tom. Well, we don't know the exact number, but it could be between 1,000 to 5,000 layoffs. Musk's roller coaster takeover of Twitter has already raised lots of concerns and doubts about its future, especially mass firings by email. Usually when people are laid off or fired, it's done in person. It must be terrifying for, for Twitter employees. It's bad enough they're going to be let go, or some of them. But to have this uh, pins and needles must be very, very difficult for a lot of people right now. Musk also appears to have acted too quickly, violating state and federal mass layoff laws. If they're laying off a certain number of employees, needs to provide the 60-day notice. The employees um, may be eligible for um, back pay or up to the 60 days. Labor attorney Shannon Liss Reardon, who's also sued Musk for not informing legions of laid-off Tesla employees of their rights, filed a preemptive lawsuit against Twitter and Musk for the very same thing. We're very concerned that Elon Musk was not going to care about federal or state labor protections for workers who are subject to mass layoffs. It appears Musk blinked. Because we know that a number of employees have now gotten notices that their separation date will be January 4th, so that they will get pay for another two months. They're also supposed to get stock equity payments promised by them in the purchase agreement. And if any of this was done by discrimination, the lawsuit will stand. Since Musk began his takeover, many Twitter advertisers are gone, opting to sit on the sidelines watching what Twitter turns into. This doesn't seem right because um, we've made no change in our operations at all. Moderation rules and hateful conduct rules have not changed uh, and we're continuing to enforce them. Even Musk concedes his proposed $8 a month membership fee to replace lost ad revenues will be a tough sell, raising the potential fate of social media pioneer MySpace. I think it's possible that Twitter could fail if Musk makes the kinds of changes that pushes a lot of people away. As stated, this is a rapidly changing story that we are going to stay on for you. Tom Vakar, KTV Fox 2 News. Yeah, and obviously those layoffs will affect the entire downtown of San Francisco with far fewer employees. Big something, time. yeah, that we will continue to follow. Tom, yeah. appreciate it.